Today, I will tell you how you can host your Discord bot very easily, for free, forever. So, without wasting any time, let me explain, and you just need to follow my steps. So first, you can check out this website, and today we'll see how to host a bot on Loon's hosting. First, you'll find a navbar here, where there are some navigation links like pricing, careers, and panel. After that, they have some social media links, and if you have any questions, you can join their Discord from here, the link is also in the description. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see all the information about what they offer, which you can explore. They host Minecraft servers, Discord bots, web hosting, game servers, and databases. Next, if we go to the pricing section, you can see all their plans, and you'll notice how affordable it is, starting at just $1 per month with a lot included. Today, we'll use the free plan, but you can check out all their plans ranging from $1 to $12 per month. Now let's select the free plan, and if you don't have an account, just click here to quickly create a new one. Alright, so now I've created my account. When you create your account, you'll receive two emails, let me show you. One will be for verifying your account, and the other will contain your username and email. Now, I'll go ahead and log into my account, and after logging in, you should see an interface that looks something like this. So here, you can see your username, email, credits, serve account, and your monthly credit usage. There's also some important information here that you should read. Alright, now when we click here, you'll see a sidebar opens, showing options like account where you can manage your account. Next is store, if you go here, you can buy credits at very affordable prices. After that, there's tickets, and their Discord server. Now, let's go to servers and click on create server. We'll need to follow a few steps to create our server. First, we'll give our server a name, you can choose any name you like. Then we'll select a node from here, and after that, you can choose the software. There are many options here, so feel free to explore, but I'll select node.js since I want to host a JavaScript bot. If yours is in Python, you can select that instead. Next, we choose a plan that suits our needs. I'll select the free tier here as well, so we'll click on the free option and then submit. Alright, now you can see your server here. When we click on it, you'll first see a warning because, as you know, many people use free servers, so they have to delete any free servers that are inactive. If you're using a free server and want to avoid it being deleted, simply log into your bot hosting dashboard every 30 days. Now, here you can see your server's name, from here, you can delete or manage it. If you want to upgrade your plan, you can select a plan here and submit it, but I'll click on manage and log in with my account quickly. Then you'll see your server displayed, click on it, and you'll see your full panel here where you can manage everything easily. There are many tabs here, like users, if you want to add someone, you can enter their email here, allowing them to manage your bot as well. Then there are backups, network, and more. But first, we need to go to files. Here, you can create a new folder, upload, and create new files. To upload, simply take all your bot's code and zip it, but remove the node underscore modules folder since it will be downloaded on the server. I've already made a zip of my bot, so I'll upload it here, and it'll upload in no time. Then I'll click on it and unzip it. Now, I can see all my folders and files here. Before starting the hosting, go to the startup tab and set your startup command just as you would in Visual Studio Code. I'll enter node dot here. Then, go to the console, click start. So, as you can see, we're seeing some errors here, and this is because discord.js and other required modules haven't been installed since we removed the node underscore modules folder. To install them, we'll go to the startup tab first and type npm install followed by all the packages our bot uses, such as discord.js, dotenv, mongoose, mongod, kazagumo, kazagumo filter, etc. Then, I'll go to the console and click on a start, and it will start installing all the packages. This might take a bit of time to install, so don't worry. Once it's done, simply go back to the startup tab and re-enter your startup command. Now, when I go to the console and click start, you can see our bot has successfully hosted. If I show you in Discord, you'll see our bot is now online. 
That's how you can host your Discord bot for free. I've included the link to the hosting website and their Discord server in the description, so feel free to check them out.